what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Xiaomi.eu ROM based on Android 11 21.6.30 build and of course this is the MIUI 12.6 and if you are worried about the build date here it is the 2nd July of 2021 build so let me actually explain why this build is so special for the Indian Redmi K20 Pros here it says L1 certificate restoration is working for Rafael in now what does that mean? Well, some people have lost their DRM certification and even mine had turned L3. But here, if you flash this particular ROM, you will get back your L1 certification and you can stream Netflix and Amazon Prime on this ROM with 10GB. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can check out the card right there if you don't know how to flash this particular ROM on your Redmi K20 Pro. So in the previous video, I just showed you guys the DRM status. But here on this particular video, I'm going to show you this MIUI 12.6 Xiaomi.eu ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro Indian unit, how it's working. So this is how the home screen looks like. And in my opinion, of course, it looks like MIUI and it looks amazing. And it still has these 3D kind of effects as you're noticing. To the left of the home screen, we still get the Google's Discover page because I have changed that and we have this like immersive kind of effects over here whenever you're scrolling through the UI and whenever you're swiping up and swiping down, there is not much effect. But yeah, there is the app drawer and stuff. You can also use it without the app drawer if you want to. So let me show you the launcher settings first. Here, if you go into the launcher settings, we have the transition effect changing option. And right now you get these options pretty similar that it was there like in MIUI and we have the set default home screen option then we have fill cells uninstalled apps and we have the lock home screen layout and stuff normal things and in the settings of the stock launcher let me actually turn off the dark theme so that you guys can see it better and whenever you are increasing or decreasing the brightness it will look like this of course looks pretty like good over here and here we have the system navigation gestures and from here you can actually switch to the buttons or the gestures or the full screen gestures and we have the hide full screen indicator you can actually like re-enable it if you want to this is just a pill bar or you can hide it if you don't want to see it so yeah let's actually click on not now and we have the gesture confirmation and we have the swipe up from corner for google assistant too so as you can see swiping up from the corners gets you to the google assistant and that is just working fine also okay google as you can see, it is also working fine. So no problems at all with the Google Assistant over here on this ROM. Now back to the launcher settings, we have the minus one screen. This is the left side screen, of course. By default, the minus one screen shows in app fault, but you can of course change it to Google Discover over here. And I did that, that's why there is the Google Discover page to the left. And we have the home screen search bar, you can also disable that. And the search provider also you can select. So from here, you can select Google, of course. And here we have the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen. Yes, that too is working fine. We have the fill cells of uninstall apps again, lock home screen layout and stuff. And of course you can change all the home screen layout icons like to this mini grids option. And there is the icon pack option. And from here, of course, you can change the icon styles from here. However you want to, you can also download the icon packs from the theme center, of course. And the icon size also you can change. So you can actually increase or decrease the icon size however you want it. And from here we have the hide app icons and also we have the global icon animation and stuff. Then we have arrange items in recent. So you can have this vertical recent or the horizontal recent over here. Then also we have the show memory status and the blood app previews and the show session options. Also, let me show you if you swipe from the right side, you get the control center. And if you swipe from the left side, you get the notification panel. And from this notification panel, as you can see, if I swipe from the right to left, it switches to the control center. This is very helpful. And you can also switch to the notification panel, just swiping from the other direction. So that is amazing. And this is how the notifications appear. It has this classy kind of look, very cool looking like UI, of course, all over the UI, you are seeing these animations. And you can clear all the like notifications by just tapping on this. This is how you can clear all the notifications. And the widgets and stuff in the home screen are working fine. And of course, if you are like worried about the wallpapers, let me actually go into the wallpaper. We have all these super wallpapers as you can see. So there is the weather, then the red planet and the home and the snow peaks and stuff. Far away rings of Saturn and this wallpaper is just looking amazing over here. Let me actually increase the brightness so that I can give you a full immersive experience over here. So just notice this animations. If I double tap on the home screen, it looks amazing. And in the lock screen, as you can see, it right now shows your local time. Also another time you can set. Here it shows as New York, but I think you can change that. 
and here is the fingerprint scanner speed and whenever you are unlocking you are getting these kind of animations just look at the animations how beautiful they look on the lock screen and whenever you are double tapping this is how they look and whenever you are unlocking they will have another animation amazing and there is this new weather kind of super wallpaper and we have if you double tap this is how it will appear and whenever you are unlocking the phone this is how it will appear now let me show you this snow pics one and with the snow pics one we get this kind of animation again amazing looking wallpaper over here and whenever i'm unlocking it has this kind of animation let me show you one more time so from the always on display we tap the fingerprint scanner and as you are noticing the animations are just beautiful also we have the red planet or mars wallpaper over here which has been a lot more popular with the miui updates and as you can see the mars wallpaper again looks amazing and whenever you are unlocking it looks like this let's try the home that is the earth one so in the home screen this is how the earth one looks and if i double tap as you can see it has this like nighttime kind of effect right now in daytime it will look much much better so right now uh, let's just stick to this far away rings because i like it more and it looks amazing talking about the cameras of course the stock camera is working amazingly well and we have this 0.66 or wide angle lens then the 2x telephoto is as well working fine now you can change the layout i did change it and by just swiping up i can get to this edit section and stuff and from here i have added couple of toggles over here and the slow motion mode and stuff everything is there we get the 1080p 960fps mode if you want that then we have the night mode then the 48 megapixel mode and also the vlog mode is there really sorry for the background noise guys and you can actually update the vlog mode over here let me actually click on download right now it's downloading so let's just leave that for the time being and the portrait mode pictures and stuff should be working fine also the front camera as you can see is working totally fine the colors are a lot better in my opinion it's not super saturated or something so yeah otherwise in the previous builds there were saturation in the front camera but here that's not the case for the front camera videos we have up to 1080p 30fps option and for the rear camera we have up to 4k 60fps options of course and in the pro mode we can only shoot photos not videos yet so yeah that's how it is and once the vlog mode is downloaded you are getting all of these options as you can see so yeah plethora of options for the vlog mode are there you can definitely use them Talking about the MIUI version and stuff, as you can see, this is the 21.6.30 beta again. If you tap on the update section, we have the MIUI version 12.6. Looks very, very beautiful over here. And you can see the currently installed version, which is the MIUI 12.6, 21.6.30 weekly build over here. And of course, this is a beta build, by the way, again. And if you scroll down, if you go into the all specs, we have the Android version as Android 11 over here, as you can see. Okay, so the security patch here is of May, but not quite June or July yet. And the MIUI version shows up over here. And if you scroll down, the stock kernel is the Perf G kernel still. And we have some more information over here. So yeah, you should not worry about the Vault E calling over here at all. And also talking about the stock dialer, you are getting the MIUI dialer still over here, which is an amazing feature. You are going to get all the call recording and all other features over here with the MIUI dialer. Yes, if you ask me personally, Google dialer is good, but definitely the MIUI dialer is something else. And I definitely like the UI more of the MIUI dialer and definitely it has many, many more functionality over here. So that's why I would say the dialer gets a thumbs up from me that we get the MIUI dialer on this particular ROM. Yes, in the Indian version of MIUIs, you are getting the Google dialer right now, but still in the Xiaomi.eu ROMs, we are getting the old MIUI kind of contact, MIUI kind of dialer, MIUI kind of messaging, everything else. So that is just amazing in my opinion. And of course, there are all of these apps like the calculator and stuff are still there. And everywhere, whenever you are opening app, just notice how cool the animation looks. Like if you have opened that particular app earlier, just notice the animation. They look really, really beautiful. Even opening the settings, as you can see, the animations look amazing. So right now, let's go into this wallpaper and personalization. From here, you can actually customize the always on display too. And from here, you can also change the wallpapers, the fingerprint scanner, like kind of animation. You can change it between these many animations, as you can see. So yeah, a lot of customization that you get. You can change the effects over here. So for notifications and stuff, you can actually change these effects. And we have the font customization too, if you want to increase the font size or actually you can download the font from the theme store and we can increase or decrease the size of it. Everything we have, ringtones, notifications, alarms, everything you can customize from this wallpaper and personalization section. 
and here in the always on display we have the always on display kind of features and from here you can have this display items too and you can actually schedule the always on display for 10 seconds or always or schedule with some time and of course you can change it between these many options as you can see all other like lock screen clock options are there that we used to get with this kind of like always on display analog clock options are there as well and you can also write a text over there if you want to and we have the use app icon for notification and the sleep option is there raise to wake is there double tap to wake or like double tap to sleep is there i guess power menu access is there wallpaper carousel you can enable that if you want to now if you go into this lock screen clock format it shows when dual clock is enabled you can't change that so yeah and we have the side panel shortcuts for the lock screen then we have the display charging animation too when unlocked that is cool and the charging animation as well you can change it looks amazing whenever it's charging so yeah again there is app lock and that should be working fine and in the fingerprint payments we do have this wi-fi l1 over here even if you have permanently broken it so that is the most interesting thing about this rom i would say and even if you open the drm info app here also it shows drm certification is l1 so white wine is not a problem over here on this rom i have talked about it a lot in the previous video by the way let's just set up the face unlock right now let's just click on start next so it opens up the front camera zooms it in and the face unlock setup is done so let's just click on done right now let's just double tap over here and double tap to unlock i guess or double tap to wake okay so i have to swipe up right now and as you can see this is the face unlocking speed of course it has a motorized pop-up camera so it will take some time but definitely even with that kind of time the face unlocking speed is amazingly fast in my opinion as you can see it opens right away whenever the front camera opens as you can see again the face unlock speed is not a problem over here there is a pocket mode launch camera again and let me go back in the display settings we have the light mode dark mode of course then we have the brightness level then the reading mode anti flicker or the disabling mode is also there and we have this regular and the anti flicker both modes and the color scheme you can change we have this vivid saturated and the standard you can also customize the colors from here and we have the font size changing option from here then we have auto rotate screen and the allow all rotation and stuff like that then from here we also have this control center kind of customization and from here you can have these battery indicators like these and we have the other customization you can see it from here in the sound and vibration we still have this media ring etc and this is how the volume panel looks like by the way if you tap here you get to see the full volume panel this is how it looks like in MIUI 12.6 and we also have this sound assistant and we have this multi audio sources and stuff and the adjust media sound in multiple apps so yeah lot of options like these that you get over here then there is this silent media in silent mode as well if you are a business person you might be using this in meetings so yeah very helpful it won't do any kind of sound even if you are playing games music or playing videos no matter how much you press the volume button i guess so that's how it is we have the do not disturb then the schedule turn on time and stuff and we have the when devices locked option then if we scroll down we have the vibrate for calls and in silent mode then vibrate on tap is also there you can have it on light vibration if you want to but i'll just turn it off we have the profile video for incoming calls and you can actually set a profile video for incoming calls that is great over here you don't get these features i guess in indian MIUI pretty much in the additional settings we have all of these sound settings like unmute sound then the screenshot sound delete sound boot audio everything you can get from here there is also the boot audio and also we have the default volume control stream we have media then the ringtone if you want to control the ringtone volume always you can actually set that and inside sound effects we have this hi-fi audio option and we of course get all other options for the volumes which you can get by connecting a headset which i can't do that right now so i'll just go back but yes plethora of headphone options are still there and there is a notification shade customization you can have it on miui or android show weather info and stuff is there if you scroll down we have the control center you can have it on the old version too if you want to then we have the switch control center sides and we have this quick setting layout i guess okay so you can't change that and we have the collapse after touch option smart home you can actually change it to android or easter egg me home or the google home kind of thing and in the status bar option we have all of these options again items shown on the lock screen we have the control center disabling option and the notification shade disabling option as well and in the additional settings this is how it looks like we have the led light then the one handed mode and stuff like that let me go back we also have the battery settings right here and if you go into the battery settings this is how it looks like we have the full battery usage just by swiping down like this and as you can see you can actually like set a custom time and see 
which apps you used in that particular time frame so that is just amazing and over here if you scroll down we have the battery usage charging and draining option to see and you can see the screen on time over here of course and if you scroll down we have more options yes the battery life should be good enough you can get six to seven hours of screen on time on this rom no issues whatsoever and there is also this battery automated task over here as you can see so turn on airplane mode and stuff is there then we have the schedule power on off option of new y of course then we have some special features like the game turbo video toolbox floating windows front camera effects then the second space and the light mode is also there and in the front camera effects we have this visual effect sound effect lift to open front camera option is there and also we have these mini sound effects and by the way if you're wondering the weather and stuff is of course there as you can see and yeah you can actually see the weather from here and here is how the power menu looks like looks amazing again you can just swipe down for reboot and swipe up for power off also one more thing that is very interesting to me that earlier the safety net was breaking in xiaomi.eu roms but here as you can see the safety net passes right out of the box so that is one amazing thing in my opinion that even without magic over here on this particular rom you're getting safety net passed right out of the box so you can use banking apps over here on this rom you don't even need to use magic hide or don't even need to flash magic over here to get the safety net passed so here i have opened couple of apps as you can see in memory and there are couple of apps in memory so right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open all of them one by one to see which apps are in memory so first let's open chrome as you can see still in memory now security app of course still in memory updater still in memory now weather as you can see still in memory right now let's open play store okay so play store has been out of memory i guess now let's open youtube yes youtube is still in memory but it shows black over here okay so it's reloading and here let's actually do one thing let's open the drm info app as you can see so all the apps are in memory and in the recent panel this is how they look we have the ram kind of statistics over here we have the floating window option if you want to enable that you can just tap here and you can just open any app in floating window and of course if you tap and hold on one app we have the app locking option over there if you tap on it the app will stick to the ram it won't be cleared from ram even if you clear all apps from the memory so that's how it gets locked we have the split screen mode and we have the apps info option over here as you can see you can go straight to the apps info and you can clear all the apps just by tapping over here and this is how you do it so yeah very good ram management now if you are wondering about the benchmarks here are the antidote and geekbench score of this particular build so i think this miui if you love miui this miui 12.6 is amazing for the redmi k20 pro and that you get the drm info as l1 or widevine l1 over here even if you have lost it permanently you can get the widevine l1 over here on this rom that is just a huge thing that you are not gonna get in any rom pretty much so yeah those things definitely makes this rom amazing this miui 12.6 latest build is really really amazing the xiaomi.eu developers has done amazing job for the redmi k20 pro in my personal opinion let me know in the comments what do you guys think give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today I'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now